ready for back to school. Today we're talking about some great books for your kids. And joining me now is local author Maria Dismondi. She travels to area schools. You promote the really the anti-bullying, the, the diversity message that you share in your book. So good to have you with us today. Thank you. I'm happy to be back. Well, I profiled you in one of my mom's genius reports, and I wanted you to come back to talk about it. Spaghetti and a Hot Dog Bun, I know, is one of one of your books yeah. that you go to schools and talk about. Tell us a little bit about the message in this one. So Spaghetti and a Hot Dog Bun is really empowering the individual and works on building children's self-esteem that they get to be themselves no matter what. So this little girl in the book loves spaghetti and a hot dog she bun. She does, and she's teased for it, but she doesn't stop eating it. And at the end of the book, what happens with the other kids? I assume they, they see that it's okay and yeah, we're all and different, they, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is So this was your big, one of the big books that, you, that you first wrote. You followed up by Chocolate Milk, Por Favor. Yes. Talk about this and the meaning of this book and, and diversity, what it's all about. Yeah, this one just came out this year. This is my sixth book, and it really focuses on the fact that um, everyone's different. So it goes along the same themes, but this time it's a different type of diversity. The little boy in this story does not speak English. And ah. this was written based on a story of a student that I actually had in my classroom. You did. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. And so many school districts today, there is so much diversity. Great diversity there in is. our area. So there is. It's neat to, it's growing. To, to kind of share this message with our kids today. You also brought another table over here of some of your favorite back-to-school books. Not the traditional books, you say. So explain what, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so I wanted to be a little untraditional when I'm talking about back-to-school today because I believe reading books to children when going back to school doesn't have to be books about being afraid to go to the classroom. I think families should fill their homes with books like this. Books that really talk about character traits and that give children um, this this skill set, like a tool belt, so that when they do go to school and they're not with their families and something happens, they can remember a story and think, how did that character relate in the similar situation? I love it. I Have you filled a bucket today? I know I, my kids are a little bit, they're what, 14 and 12 now, but they talk about the, the bucket filling. They learned that in elementary school. That's yeah. an important topic. So that book all there about filling someone's bucket and making them feel good. Yes, and Carol McLeod is actually a Michigan author. Is this she? is a fabulous book, yes. The Girl Who Never Made Mistakes. Give us a the girl who never made about. mistakes could have been written for me because <laughs> I grew up thinking that making mistakes was a bad thing. And so this is a wonderful book. These are all, it teach, teaches children to accept who they are and accept them for the good and the bad. Okay. Um, I have a couple other Please. books here that yes. are very popular right now. Um, this one, I Can Believe in Myself by Miriam Laundrie. This is fabulous for really teaching children to believe in who they are. And the Energy Bus is really popular in schools right now. It's about positive thinking for children. Wonderful. And I've listed all of these books plus some more on my blog today so that everyone can go and you know we don't expect families to go to Amazon or to the bookstore to purchase these yeah. books you can actually a lot of authors read their stories on YouTube really? so families can choose a story each week and look at it watch it together being read by the author so it's a nice free inexpensive way to get these messages into your home and your library as well I bet they've got oh some the of library these books here. yes great absolutely. resource great yeah. free resource Maria thank you so much for being with absolutely. us absolutely great, great work Stephen